This is where he's sort of contemplating marriage. I'll just pick it up here. Uh, Philip and Betsy's relationship had had its share of difficult moments, but it now appeared to be coming to fruition in marriage. Yet Philip was also aware that his romantic passion for Betsy would need to compete with political jealousy. Uh, this is a, he wrote his uh, senior graduation commencement speech on political jealousy, the idea of being jealous for your country, defending the rights of your country. Uh, so Betsy would need to compete with political jealousy, that laudable passion was the term Fithian used to describe it, informing the patriotism of the American colonies. Political jealousy or support of the revolution might put a damper on their wedding plans. Surely, Philip wrote from Pennsylvania, I may not enter into any such connection as marriage, however willing, however desirous I am, till the fate of America be known and settled. If Philip and Betsy were temporarily to put off their future together, it would be because the commitment of marriage might make it more difficult for Philip to come to the aid of his country. Quote, Probably in the conflict I may be called to the field, and such a connection in its nature would make me less capable and less willing to answer so reasonable a call. I will not therefore marry till our American glory be fixed on our permanent foundation or taken entirely from us." Unquote. For once, Philip was willing to curb his passions for Betsy in order to pursue an equally, if not laudable, his term, passion, a call to the sacred and enlightened cause of liberty. Or so it seemed. Whatever convictions Philip had about postponing his marriage until the American Revolution was over seemed to vanish once he arrived home from Pennsylvania. His diary is silent during this period, but we do know that he and Betsy were married on October 25th, 1775 at the Deerfield Presbyterian Church. His former teacher, Enoch Green, conducted the service. Uh, for all his musings about Betsy in letters and diaries, it is ironic that we know nothing about the months leading up to or immediately following this momentous event in Philip's life. And then I go on to describe this. So I mean, here's this guy. This you know, he's in this great moment of I would never marry and put, put love over the love of my country until he gets back to Cohansey, and then he, within days almost he's married to he's married to Betsy. So uh, you know, this is.